Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. Sorry for the first video that I deleted. I am redoing the video again um, because of screen capture issues. Now you should see what I'm trying to show. Uh, we're going to talk about the Arkill software, the Arkill tool that's available from the Bleeping Computer website and explain what it does. This is a question from a viewer that has um, malware and wondered, you know, what does this, you know, clean your PC? What does it do? So uh, it does not, this is not an antivirus and this does not remove or clean your PC of a virus. It actually tells you what it does. It kills the process, meaning that it can recognize um, unusual processes that might be linked to viruses and will kill the process. So it's going to stop working because a lot of times your antivirus software cannot deal with running malware, um, either because it doesn't see it because the malware tries to block itself, um, which is very often a problem, or simply because it sees it, but it can't remove it, it can't do anything. The process is running, and while it's running, your antivirus is useless. So this will kill and uh, shut down the process to let your um, antivirus do the job. Now, I've seen a couple of comments. I just want to say one thing. There are no antivirus that works while doing this. You need, if you want to be successful at removing something, you need this as an extra to your antivirus. It is extremely important. The other thing I want to stress, very important, if you have malware, if this detects weird stuff, there's nothing like clean installing Windows to actually make sure they have no more viruses. It is untrue that because your antivirus says that you're okay now, that you are. There's no way to know it. And no antivirus is going to tell you. Uh, stop thinking that. If you tell me in a comment, well, I have ABC antivirus and that one does that, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't even understand how these things work. No, it is not possible for an antivirus to be 100%. It never was. It never will be. So the only real way is a clean install. But in the cases where, and I understand why sometimes it's kind of difficult or almost impossible to clean install for some reasons, then, yeah, you can use tools like this and try to make the best out of it. So... When you get here, Billy Ping Computer, the Arkill has several different ways. You might see here, there's four download now. Why? Because the Arkill process is a process that is known by viruses. So malware knows that you might be using this. It blocks ex execution most of the time. So they give you an opportunity to download it in different forms different names and here at the bottom of the page the download links look at that you have it at different rkill.com exc scr explorer exc i explorer exc and so on these are all the same software it's the same tool but with the different names they're trying to bypass the fact that malware is trying to block it once you have downloaded this tool what it does is, of course, scan your system for known processes, which means this tool, you need to get it when you need it. You can't take the tool, put it on a USB thumb drive, and use it in six months because this tool is updated all the time to recognize all the latest um, problems. So you need to have a recent, very recent version of it. So here I downloaded the uh, tool. If I go to my download folder and double click on it, it's going to ask you, of course, you want to uh, do the scan and so on. Terminate malware processes. So yes. And then you'll see this black screen that's going to do its different scans and check if something's weird. Now, as you see here, no issues found in anything in my case. That's normal. I don't have malware on my PC, I know. But if you find anything in there, if it tells you something's there, 
what it's going to do is it's going to kill the process. And then you can use your favorite antivirus, do a big scan, and see what happens from there. Do not restart your PC. You do the scan immediately after this has run. It's extremely important. So what does it check? It checks the Windows services. It checks processes that it needs to stop. Registry, keys that might be, settings that have changed because of malware. Uh, Executables.com.bat associations and Windows registry that it will reset performing checks here and there. Uh, checks for missing digital signatures. And checking the host file, which is a file that actually is telling you what you can do on the internet. The host file can actually redirect you, can do a lot of things. No issues in general, you know, unless you have done something that you shouldn't and you're not sure. Uh, once again, this is not 100% like antivirus is not 100%. And now it's going to tell you you should now run, be able to run your security program and so on. And you can run an antivirus uh, and um, do a scan and see what happens and try to clean. Once that is done, you restart your PC. Hopefully, crossing your fingers, this is going to be fine. When you close it, of course, it gives you a text file with the uh, information. What you could do is go back and run it again if you want. Uh, you can run it more than once. See if after, you know, killing the process, scanning your system, restarting, if things look more normal and it doesn't find anything. You might be in luck. There are times when infections are not too bad that it could be cleaned. But I'll stress it once again. A clean install will be the best option. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.